and Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to well, so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Ah. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley... Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. 
All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump, jump circle. Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else for goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be, but it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stan- And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. 
The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a... Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. What an awful mem... What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the... And here it is. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Stanley! Stanley! St Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about... But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed. The end is never 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 the end is
all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally... Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement. Oh, goodness. Um, Stanley, this is very awkward. I hate to do this. No? You're just going to ignore my advice? Fine. No fun new content for you, then. You're the one who spent money on this game. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will, um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of, okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, 
Stanley decided to go up to coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something... Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. And here was a second Stanlerine. I'll be honest, back then I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. 
Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. <laughs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. And then there was no more because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the Memory Zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the Memory Zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Yes, I love that video. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep this is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. The time does... Oh, yes! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. 
And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each...